In this short video tutorial, I'm going to take you through the process of inserting a table of figures within your Microsoft Word document using Microsoft Word for Mac. Now, this is a really useful thing to know how to do because instead of having to do it manually, you can essentially click on one button and produce your table of figures automatically. Now, the way that this works is, as you'll see in this document here, I've got lots of text and on each page, I have a little picture here, which is a sales graph. Okay, so we've separated them for all the different years, 2020, right the way through to 2030. And what I want to do is I want to add a little figure underneath each of these and then use that to create a table of figures. Now, let's first of all look at how you could do it manually, which would take quite a while but I'll explain this part of the process for you just now. So if we go underneath the image here, then we could, for example, write figure one, and then we could call this a uh, sales data 2020. And then if I go down, we could click on this one here, and we could then go underneath and we could say a uh, figure two sales data 2021 and there's nothing wrong with doing that we could format it and make it look pretty but then when we want to construct our table of contents what we need to do is we need to manually create that table so let's just insert a page break here and let's pretend that we're going to call this one the table of figures and I'll just quickly restyle this one so let's apply a little style here to make it look semi nice let's just do a heading three so it's got a bit of color. And then what I would do is I would write something like, um, if we change this style back to normal, so I might write um, figure one sales data 2020, what's the first one, 2020. And then we might tab along a few times and we'll say, okay, this is on page three. And then we go down to the next one. So we say figure two sales data 2021 and we tab along and we say four. Now, doing it manually is nothing wrong with that, but it's quite, quite a time consuming process. So if, for example, we inserted a sales data 2019, then what we'd have to do is change this from figure one to figure two, we'd have to change figure two to figure three, and then insert it above. The page numbers are probably gonna change, so we've got to update those. And also, these aren't hyperlinks, so when we click on them, they don't link to the data. So I'm going to delete all of this, but I'll leave the page break in and I'm going to come down and I'm going to just delete this piece of text here and this piece here. Now, don't worry about the figures above. This has just been added by ChatGPT when I asked it to create this document for me. But instead of manually typing the figures in, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the image and we're going to use either insert caption or with the image selected, we're going to click on references and insert caption here. Now, both of those do the same thing. So let's insert the caption. And what happens here is it knows this is the first time you've added a caption here within this document. So it automatically labels it as number one. So I'm gonna come into here and I'm gonna put a little dash and then say sales data 2020. Now let's look at some of the options we have available to us here underneath the options area. So first of all, the label, is it an equation, a figure or a table? Well, in this case, it is a figure, but it might be that I actually want this to be called something like image or charts. Now these three, these are the default options. You can't remove them, you can't edit them, you can't delete them. What we can do though, is we can create a new label and I could call this one chart and then click OK, and you'll see it changes it to chart one. Then next time you use this, it'll be chart two, chart three. So you can actually create a table of charts in this case, if you like. But you'll notice here, if I click on equation, I cannot delete it. But if I go back to chart, I can then use the delete label option, and then we can switch it back to, in this case, a figure. So you can use new label to create your own custom label. The position is either whether you want it to be below, which is the default, or above your selected um, image. In this case, we'll leave it as a default, below. And then under formatting, you can see for numbering, we can change the numbering format. So instead of using image A, B, C, or um, figure one, two, three, we can change it in here. So I could actually make this figure A, B, C, or Roman numerals. I'll leave the numbering as it is, but you'll see here you can then click OK, and you can use this option to exclude the label from the caption. So what that does is it will remove the label we see here. So it will just be called one 
sales data 2020. Now I'm going to leave that one um, in, so we're going to leave it as figure one. I'm going to click OK and you'll see it appears underneath just like this. Now if we were to perhaps move this along, so let's centrally align this chart, I can then select the um, label here and we can move that in the centre as well. Now let's go down and I'm going to purposely miss out 2021 and I'm going to jump down and do 2023 in this case. So you'll see here we don't have any data in this case for 2022 but let's jump to this one here, right click, insert caption and we're going to do the same here. So we're going to say sales data 2023 and OK. And then I'll just do the same as before. We'll move this just into the center like that. So what we've done here is we've now got figure two and figure one, but we're missing out what should really be figure two. Now, the great thing here is we can right click on this and we can use insert caption and it knows this is actually figure two because it be comes before figure three. So then we'll say sales data 2020 and I can't remember, is this 2021 I think it is. So we'll hit OK. And you'll see it inserts it in. Let's just move that to centre. We'll move this along as well. So we've now got sales data 2021, 2021 here, sorry, 2020 here. And then if I scroll down, we've got figure three. So it's updated that for me. Now, once we've finished doing this, it's time to construct our table of figures. And there's no need to do this manually because instead what we're going to do is position the cursor on the page at the position where we want the table of figures to go. And then all we need to do is to go up to references. And this time we are going to insert our table of figures. Now I have a separate video explaining how to create a table of contents automatically. And I'll put that link in the description below and in the card above. But in that video, we use this option here. But in this video, we're going to use insert table of figures. So let's click on insert table of figures. And then it's going to ask us to basically set up our table of figures here. So the first thing is that we are going to use the caption label. In this case, we're going to use figures. We're not going to use equation or table because we haven't used those captions. So we don't want to create a table of table or a table of equations. We want a table of figures. The next thing is to choose the format. So you'll see this preview here will change from the template to maybe the classic view or distinctive or centered. And you can pick whichever one you like here. So I'm going to go for this simple one. And then the tab leader is basically the dots that you usually see between your label and the page number. So we can go for dashed lines or we can go for dots or if you want to, you can go for none. Let's change that to dots. And then you'll see here include label and number. Now, if I uncheck this option, you basically get your label without the figure one part. So it's just your text and you get the page number, but I'm going to put that one back in. So I want it to actually say figure one and then um, sales data. Show page numbers, you can turn those on or off, but I would say they should be on when you're doing a table of figures like this. And then you'll see a line page numbers to the right. So if this option is checked, then your page numbers you'll see will by default be on the right hand side, but you maybe want to move them like this. I think that looks a little bit difficult to read. So I'm going to move them back. And then finally, use links instead of page numbers. So it, what this is going to do is allow these to function as hyperlinks, essentially. So anybody who's watching or viewing this document electronically will be able to click on the page numbers or the titles inside the um, table of figures and jump to that table within the document. Now, before I click OK, I'm just going to go into options and you'll see there are a couple of options here so you can style out your table of figures. There are some options here. I'm going to just leave it as it is. So let's just go to OK. And then all we need to do now is click OK. And our table has been created. And you'll see here, we can click and jump down. So we go to sales data 2020. We can go to 2023, just like that. So now that we have our table in place, what I want to do is demonstrate how you can make changes to this. So you'll see here we have figure one, two and three. But what happens if we make some changes to either one of the captions or the page that it lives on? So first of all, we've got sales data 2020, 2021 and 2023. Let's say, for example, I want to change this to projected sales data. I can simply come into the caption and then I'm going to write a uh, projected sales data. But then when I scroll up, you'll see it hasn't changed here. So how do we get this to update? Well, the easiest way to do it is to simply right click on this table and choose update field. 
and you'll see it now changes here to projected sales data. If we were to maybe change the page numbers, so let's go down and let's insert two or three page breaks. So now sales data for 2020 lives on page six and they've all moved down by two or three pages. All I need to do, right click update field and you'll see the page numbers now update. So at the beginning, we looked at the very much the manual process, which would take a long time to do this. But in this video, we've then moved on to the automatic process, which as you can see, can save you a lot of time. Now, one last thing we might want to do, we might want to maybe insert another table. So I'm just gonna copy this one and I'm going to paste it here. And then let's pretend that this is actually sales data for 2022, which was missing. So I'm going to type sales data 2022, click OK. And then you'll see down here, this one is going to become figure four. Now, all we need to do is come back up to here, to our table. We're going to right click and update field, and you'll see it's added that one that we were missing in. So that's how you can insert and edit a table of figures in Microsoft Word for Mac.